geography right the question is first of all what is its weightage whenever we have see whenever you are reading the subjects you have to go with the weightage okay like for example you are studying for 15 there is a sub subject like disaster management or a subject like internal security where there is weightage is only 40 marks but if you give four months to 40 marks that doesn't make the sense so according to the weightage in UPSC you need to go so what is yeah, what is the weightage of geography so I'll talk both in the prelims perspective as well as mains perspective see there is no differentiation of these three subjects what are the subjects geography environment and ecology ecology then disaster management disaster management these three subjects overlap with each other so never make a differentiation when you're reading or never make any boundaries in these three subjects okay but apart from this there is a linkage like when you are studying agriculture in the geography there is a linkage with the economy is it clear right when you study the neighborhoods of the geography there is a linkage with the internal security and international relations so that point so whenever you are writing an answer if you see the question that is related with geography that doesn't means that answer should be question is limited to the geography okay might be geography but your answer is not limited to geography subject itself you can add the points of science and technology you can add the points of internal security you can add the points of economy you can add the points of history also point clear so never make the boundaries in the upsc when you're writing these subjects reading the subjects okay it is science and technology so my answer should be only from the science and technology perspective wrong point clear there the people lose the marks never get ideas or new thoughts to write it point clear yes or no so you need to open your brain first never make restrictions to a subject it is an overlapping g yes it is not the pg or phd or any subject specialization it is what general studies gs paper 1 2 3 and 4 it is a general studies general is it clear ups itself has never been demarcating any subjects we are demarcating in the institutes we are demarcating the subjects yes or no but ups never demarcated it they have written anything indian economy indian geography world geography indian geography and geography itself yes or no the terminologies they have used but they never have written world geography indian geography did they write in the syllabus did you see anything indian economy did you see social issues are there not indian society yes or no so it should never be demarcated first okay so these three subjects overlap with each other so never ever see any single from the single view only clear number one so what is the weightage so what is the weightage of this in the prelims and mains in the prelims generally in the prelims it is combination of both geography as well as environment it is a combination of geography and environment environment so on an average on an average both of them it is an overlap never ever demarcate it okay subjects may be taught differently to get the concepts differently but when you're reading it you should overlap them understood the point when you are studying about the biomagnification you should also connect or biome biomes 
you should also connect from the geography point of view and as well as environment point of view is it clear so the average number of questions average questions from past six years average number of questions are 35 35 okay 2015 2016 2017 2018 this was the year where the number of questions that was asked from geography was very very less but 2019 20 21 22 23 and next in 21 month we are going to see 2024 also in that they have asked large number of questions in these four years so combinedly it is combinedly empty combinedly it is 35 questions so that means you cleared your prelims 75 is a cutoff here yes or no so if you read if you read thoroughly you will clear it point clear and also the, the, when I, I'll tell you the subject so this is one in prelims point of view this is the role so it is making an impetus role in the prelims which one geography as well as environment if you read these two subjects then guarantee you need you can answer 20 I'm not giving 35 to 35 20 questions you can answer that's a great achievement okay net it should be net 20 out of 35 or 2022 clear huh? yes 22 at least 22 maximum will be 22 minimum it should be 20 when you are reading thoroughly point clear right number one number two what is the role of in the mains what is the role in the mains in which paper it is first of all in the mains what is the role in the mains it is there in gs paper one it is there in gs paper one okay in gs paper one so how many questions will come gs paper one carries 250 marks 250 marks out of the 250 marks expect geography point of view geography point of view. how much huh? 75 50 how many subjects are there in this in gs paper one what are the subjects society, society. history history and your geography am i right now tell me what is the weightage of geography it includes art and culture modern world history post independent history also then come on what should be the weightage below below 50 geography carries pakka 100 percent maybe 10 or less 10 more 10 less okay plus or minus 10 if the mindset of the examiner changes we cannot say generally we, he will give eight questions okay eight questions in that in that four four questions are 15 marker questions 60 four questions are 10 marker questions this is 60 this is 40 this is total is 100 or point clear so what is the weightage now 100 100 marks and it does not every time it is a general studies so questions will overlap of geography and environment okay like desertification actually they will teach you in the environment 
but questions came in the gs paper 1 geography so never ever demarcate i told you three are fixed okay it's like egg shell main white and yellow color trinity <laughs> is it clear yes or no so like that it will be like this so 100 marks so what is the weightage 100 marks this is a weightage that has been given to the geography right then then what will be the syllabus the geography what is the component how many components does the geography consist geography consists of three components physical geography physical geography economic geography and human geography but for our syllabus human geography is not there human geography urbanization and population census has been added in the society point clear huh? yes or no but these are the parts of geography only is it clear what do you mean by physical physical what do you mean by physical geography we will study here in the physical we will study about two things okay one about the world second about india india about the world as well as about the india we will study about the both okay world world physical geography indian physical geography what will be there sir what will be there first of all what will be there what is the syllabus what is the syllabus syllabus is silent features of world geography is there okay first syllabus is syllabus syllabus is first one silent features of of world physical is it there world physical geography see in your syllabus copy is it there like this is it there in your syllabus copy see that syllabus copy gs paper one yes first point okay physical second point is second point is about importance of geophysical phenomena am i right importance of i'll tell you what is this importance of geophysical physical phenomena physical phenomena importance of geophysical phenomena then distribution of key natural resources across the india and across the world total distribution of key natural resources of key natural resources across the world done these are the things yes or no right in three topics everything is covered physical as well as economic okay here we have seen what are that physical economic human human is not there human is not there okay in your gs paper one human is not there human part has been included like urbanization census in the society part clear now we are concerned only with this what is this this one we are concerned only with this thing physical and economic physical and economic so when you are studying about physical now listen carefully physical 
it is written that silent features of world physical geography now what is the silent features of world physical geography is silent features of world physical geography what we will be studying in the world geography in the world geography what we are going to study world geography world geography what we are going to study what are the silent features of physical geography meaning anyone geomorphology it is simply you know there are actually the world physical is divided into four parts okay geomorphology geomorphology what do you mean by geomorphology first so first of all what do you mean by geography what do you mean by geography anyone what do you mean by geography it is called geomorphology what is geography meaning hmm. now tell me is it geography a technical subject technical or non technical or both technical and non technical it has a both you know the physics as well as humanities got the point that's why it is called semi technical it is not purely technical it is not purely humanities that's why they are placed in the ba as well as msc geography in the syllab in this curriculum they are placed degree holders ba geography is there ba one part geography is there like for example in some universities they give h e g or h p g history public administration geography in some universities g uh, that is geography political science and economics like that so it is not a purely humanities it is not purely technical that's why it is not called in engineering or neither placed in the humanities point clear huh? yes or no right so that is your first thing what is that geomorphology first of all geography what do you mean geography geography what is the geography meaning geography is a bridge between natural science and social science will you tell that tomorrow what is the meaning of that i'll give homework what what is the meaning of this Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Like, like, over time, like how how say people are different. How like the Himalayas stop the cold winds coming into India. How that anthropological uh, you know, the settlements, settlements takes like, place. How behavioral. Okay, behavioral changes. and where the if you know the temperature if you know the climatic not only temperature climatic conditions of the country you can know what are the resources that is available so all the economic activities and human activities comes under this and all the physical activities water temperature salinity pressure climate weather etc will comes under this so in detail i will go later not now okay so there is a bridge between the natural science social science if you know where the rivers are flowing what is the topography of the river then only the human settlements will take place so first what you have to know you have to know the flow of water 
this is flow of water water channel am i right then only there will be a human settlements otherwise every time wherever the humans have settled either there will be two types of disasters one drought if they are moving away from the water channel there will be a drought if they go very close to the water channel there will be a floods is it clear so you have to know the topography flow of water channel then only you can understand human settlements yes or no now there is a nala beside us big nala is there yes or no now if there is nala overflows there will be floods that is what called as an urban flooding yes rainfall patterns are changing that is what climate change point clear huh? yes or no if you know the volcanic eruptions where are the active volcanoes zone then only you can evacuate people easily then only you can understand the climate of that region resource of that region etc point clear huh? yes so that is what the geography meaning is it is a bridge between the natural science and social science if you know the rock type then only you can know the what are the minerals that is composed of otherwise you will be in scarcity of the resources if you cannot use the resources in efficient and effective manner your economic activities cannot take place in the country yes or no if you know how to ride the bicycle what are the if you know like for example if you have a bike okay you don't know where is the clutch accelerator where is the key where to pour the petrol how can you use same way if you know the resources if you want to know the resources you need to study about physical features of that area that is what the bridge between clear so the first topic would be geomorphology what is geomorphology study of earth and the features of the earth what are the features of the earth features of the earth what are the features of the earth simple rocks deserts very good then forest mountains mainly plateaus plains rivers glacier if you know this study then only you can understand so the study of the earth and its relief features silent features that is what called a silent feature relief features like mountains plateaus plains etc that is called as your geomorphology what is the second topic in detail i'll go later okay i'm telling you syllabus point of view what is next topic study about climate what is climate first of all you have to know what is wind how the winds move why they move what is the pressure yes or no pressure of the earth pressure of the latitudes latitudes you have to know longitude you have to know the sun revolution you have to know sun rotation you have to know then also the winds that are blowing on the surface above the surface yes all these affects the life of the human population that is what bridge is it clear can, can you live in the cold conditions antarctica so to, let's go tomorrow from tomorrow onwards we are not the citizens of india we are citizens of antarctica can you live in within two days you will come back why why if you do not know the topography after mangalore what will come if you grow on the west side sea will come directly you will fall into the arabian sea yes on you have to know the topography yes if you want to see the mangalore also you have to you have to cross the western ghats point clear yes or no 
you, th this is what called as climatology. In climatology, you'll study about winds, pressure belts, temperature, jet streams, cyclones, etc. That is what here it is written. Important geophysical phenomena, geophysical phenomena like earthquake, volcanic eruptions, cyclones, all comes under the geophysical phenomena. Every year there will be one question from geophysical phenomena. Either it is an earthquake, volcano or cyclone. Compulsory. Clear? Then look at here. That is what climatology. Then we have third one. Third one we have what we say oceanography. Very good. Oceanography. What do you study? O ocean, ocean, yes. But topography, that is what topography of the ocean. What is the bottom of the ocean is? Whether it is a plain or whether it has some features. It is not plain. What we think, it might be plain. Okay, we can dive directly to go deep into the sea ocean floor no it is not the plain area it has some features what are that continental shelf continental slope abyssal plains ridges goyotes and also trenches okay that is what bottom topography of the ocean we need to study the temperature of the ocean in order to understand the atmospheric circulation temperatures of the ocean what should be the temperature when the winter comes the river which one will be heated faster land or water <laughs> confused it is a land always heated faster cooled faster okay it is heated faster cooled faster that's why cyclones occur tropical cyclones occur only in water not on the land have you seen anything cyclone occurred in mumbai or delhi in this in these areas coastal regions are different tropical cyclones always come from the coast hit the coast from the sea so why this developed for that you have to know the temperatures of the ocean how they behave you have to know the salinity of the ocean that is what geophysical phenomena okay or you have to know the density of the ocean ocean circulation ocean circulation when you are moving in the ocean you know without power to the boat your boat will start moving who is moving that water is moving them the winds are moving them ocean currents point clear yes or no then we also have coral reefs so all these things will be studying in the world geography is it clear right and then we have fourth one biogeography biogeography about the plant animal as well as your soil conditions biogeography Point clear? Huh? Any doubts? World geography. This is related with the world geography. World physical. Okay? Physical. It is only physical. Right? Then, then we have India. Indian geography. Indian geography. Indian geography. Here also we will only see from physical perspective. What are that? First, Indian physical setting. What is Indian physical setting? Location and Not only locations, but the physiography of the India. Himalayans plateaus plains etc okay then we'll be studying about the 
तो ड्रेनेज सिस्टम इन इंडिया ड्रेनेज सिस्टम इन इंडिया ड्रेनेज सिस्टम इन इंडिया लाइक लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल देर आर रिवर्स इट इज डिवाइडेड लाइक हिमालयन रिवर्स एंड इंडियन रिवर्स हिमालयन रिवर्स एंड इंडियन रिवर्स दे आर फ्लोइंग फ्रॉम पास्ट मेनी ईयर्स बट वी डू नॉट नो दैट सम रिवर्स आर बिन सबमर्ज रिवर्स दैट मीन्स डिसअपियर्ड रिवर्स ओके एग्जाम्पल रिवर सरस्वती डिसअपियर्ड रिवर ओके एंड देर आर सर्टन रिवर्स विच आर कॉल्ड इज रिवर कैप्चर्ड तीसरा इज कैप्चर्ड बाई ब्रह्मपुत्र रिवर किडनेप दैट इज कॉल्ड एज रिवर यस रिवर किडनेप सो वॉट आर द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ रिवर किडनेप वॉट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ रिवर रिजनोवेशन वॉट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ दीज रिवर्स फ्लोइंग नॉट ओनली दिस बट ऑल्सो वेन द रिवर्स आर फ्लोइंग वेन द रिवर्स आर फ्लोइंग what kind of economical benefits that you get it point clear yes or no for that sir in south india we get only a seasonal rainfall in north india we get continuous rainfall for that there is a differences okay differences one is deficit one is surplus so what you have to do what you can do as an engineer you can construct a canal in between them this area is a surplus this area is a deficit what do you do construct a canal that is called interlinking of river projects what is the benefit advantage or it is advantage what is the history of that that we all see in the drainage system clear third about indian climate indian climate monsoon type of climate indian climate is a monsoon type of climate yes or no summer rainfall winter dry so how these monsoons behave what are the climatic change impacts on them like el nino la nina mjo indian ocean dipole etc okay then we will see about indian climate drainage system then the natural vegetation natural vegetation of india then we will see the indian soils indian soils that's it point clear huh? yes or no right this is physical i told only physical part this is only physical we also have economic that is what the last distribution of key natural resources across the world okay that is in indian geography okay economic part i am telling you economic part agriculture agriculture industries mineral resources mineral resources and energy resources energy resources then we have trade transport and communication these are the topics that we are going to study from india's perspective okay clear so these are